Hey, it's Triv again from the Midnight Movie, and I am sitting here with multi-award winning singer, songwriter, and musician, Lily Roquelin. Was that close? Yes, yes. that was very good. <laughs> I, I was saying Roquelin, but it's Roquelin. And uh, you know, she was just here at the Brothers Lounge in Lakewood doing a beautiful piano set. It was fantastic. I can listen to that stuff all day. But there you go. And um, I just she's originally from France and actually moved to Cleveland. And then she now resides in New York. And I wanted to ask you really quick, you're, you're, you're originally from France. Where exactly did you grow up and, and when did you make the move to Cleveland? So I grew up in the south of, in the south of France, um, on the Riviera, between Nice and Marseille, in a little town called Toulon. And I always wanted to move to the States because of the musical culture. Uh, I don't know, since I was like 12 years old, I had this fascination from like the music, anything. And um, just because I, my mom had some cousins in Ohio, and to me it didn't matter which state, you know, I was going to. And so, you know, I just, I just came to Ohio and I ended up in Cleveland. That's interesting that she ends up in Cleveland, the home of rock and roll. Yeah, but, exactly. <laughs> but I, I, I did read, it was it, it, it was kind of interesting, I did read that one of the reasons why you decided to come to the United States was that in France, there, you, you weren't too happy with their musical education. They, they kind of focused more on uh, their DJs instead of live music, which really makes no sense to me. Yes, actually, um, in France, we don't have uh, what you have here uh, in schools like theater and, you know, bands and marching bands and stuff like that. Uh, the music uh, education is like one hour per week or something and it's like everybody play, plays the same instrument, very, very boring. And um, and then if you want to be you know, a professional musician, you have to go to the conservatory. I mean, it's, you know, something really, uh, uh, I don't know, not really open. So um, yeah, that's why I was really uh, interested, you know, the, the culture here. And it's true that they are definitely focused on a DJ that anytime a French person wants wants to go out, what they're gonna think about first is going out in a club, then saying, you know, that kind of thing. So they, they're not familiar with live music and really not familiar with singer songwriters. Like they, they don't understand what it is. <laughs> so Yeah, I, as, as as a musician and, and, and a performer, the the main passion really does come from the live audience and, the, and, and whether it's five people, 500 people, mm -hmm. 5,000 people, it's getting that feedback. Mm -hmm. And it, it's another interesting thing is that when she moved to Cleveland, she was uh, a member of a couple bands. One was uh, Fuzzy Lager. Fuzzy Lager. <laughs> Fuzzy Lager. And another one was Hate Dies Hard, which yeah. is far, far yeah. different than what she's playing now. It was a hardcore kind of he yeah. heavy, heavier band. Yeah. Tell me a little bit about what, what what made you join th that that band there? Um, Hate Dies Hard, uh, I had like the band Fizzy Ladder had just broken up and I didn't know exactly what to do and things like this. And um, I just, I think they replied to my ad because I was looking you know, for an established band and everything since I had already experience. And when I met them, at first I thought, whoa, this is a little heavy. And then I actually realized how melodic it is and how um, like thought, like the like it's a little complicated, like the, the the way they write. I learned a lot on the songwriting level with them, and uh, and then we actually got to record the album uh, at Mars Studio, you know, which is Mushroom Heads' home. So that was a great, phenomenal experience for me. So, yeah. And I just gotta ask you real quick before we before we go on to my next question is that they are known for their drummer used to face away from the stage, which was very very odd. Any reason why he did that? Um, yes, I remember I had the same question and actually it's an artistic way uh, for them to uh, show the mechanics of the drum and uh, uh, we actually had uh, the, a mirror, so you know like these big street mirrors, you just have to go on YouTube and Google Hate Tides Hard Live and you see one of the videos and you see, you know, in the mirror you would see the drummer facing, you know, in the mirror and then you'd see the bat and you would see all the drums. That so. was very interesting, I saw that and I was like, that was, that was, that was, that was cool, yeah. that was cool. So, so you, you did that and then, and then what made you decide to, to move to New York? Was it by advice from somebody, or you just decided, you know what, I'm gonna I'm gonna change things up and then move to New York, or what what, what uh, spurred that movement? So I think it all happened naturally, and I just I, I tend to follow my instincts in general uh, in life. It's you know, it's a little bit crazy, but uh, you know, it just follow it and it works. Um, I I was just at, at a time where um, I was going away from Hate Thai Hard, you know, we were all doing different things, and I wanted to go solo and. Uh, I picked the piano 
piano as instrument, you know, support my my songwriting as a solo artist. And and then I was, I don't know, I thought that in Cleveland, I don't know, I, I didn't feel like there was something like for me at that time. And I was just attracted to go to New York City and you know just went and it's been working great. But I do miss Cleveland. That's why I always come back for a show. Well, I'm glad you came back because I absolutely loved your set. And I'm looking forward to hearing more stuff from you in the future. Uh, if you want, uh, how do people get a hold of, uh, uh, if they want to see your stuff, if they want to sample your stuff, if they want to buy your stuff? Do you have a website or yeah. Facebook or anything like that? Yeah, I have my website. I'm everywhere. So if you don't know how to spell my name, you know, when you're just trying to remember my name, you can just put Lily Rotlin. And even if you spell it the any way you want on um, Google search, will all, my website will always uh, pop up because I, I set it up that way. And yeah, I'm on iTunes, Amazon. My latest album is Beautiful Sun. And um, yeah, just go check it out and send me a little message. Well, there you have it. Lily Rockolin. Roquelin. Thank you. You're, you're welcome. No, thank you. Thank you. I, uh, Keep your eyes and your ears out for, for uh, Lily, because I'm telling you, I expect nothing but big things coming from her. Fantastic musician, singer, songwriter. I had an absolute blast tonight at Brothers Lounge here, and uh, I'm looking forward to hearing more from you in the future. Thank you very much. It was an absolute pleasure meeting you. Thank you. Thank you. Thank you.